Jay Feather 22 BHM here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a uh, little Murphy bed um, SUV towable um, uh, camper. Awesome little family camper. If you've never had a camper, if you're maybe if you're just sick of a pop-up, or if you just simply don't want something too big, this is a great one here. Being a Jayco has twice the warranty of anything else on the market, and when you have superior products or uh, you know uh, materials rather and processes that result in a superior product, you can offer double the warranty. This says, uh, technically it's called a J-Feather 7. That's because this has a 7.5 wide foot body as opposed to a common 8 foot wide body. Narrow body has advantages. It saves you a lot of weight, saves you money. It also means you can see around it more easily when you're parking or changing lanes. So there's some very good things going on here. Um, this has the same suspension system as the uh, the bigger J Feather and a lot of fifth wheels actually. This is an equal flex suspension. It's a rubber shock dampening chuck in there. What that does, that joint right there, it'll help absorb uh, shocks and jolts from road uh, transit um, at the ground level before it gets translated up into your sidewalls, forward into your vehicle and your cab, up into your dishes and your where you have everything packed. Um, over here, real quick, I want to point out a couple of things. We do have a nice black tank flush. We do have uh, cable input. Not all these little campers have stuff like that. Um, we also have an outside shower to hose the kids off, which is really awesome in a bunkhouse model because especially like if they go to the lake, you don't want them rolling around in your brand new Jayco with that turtle slime smell or the fish guts. You want to rinse that off them before they get inside. A lot of really good stuff going on in just this shot right here. Um, we do have a nice bumper mounted spare back here and you can always move that around if you want to add a bike rack to the back here um, You see this little rack on the back Well, we have an outside kitchen with a cooktop and a separate grill over here. So you do get um, Double uh, cook options. We also have a max length awning You couldn't really put a bigger awning on this RV It starts at the rear and goes all the way up to right where it starts to taper in the front um, your outside kitchen here this is actually strut loaded. It holds the outside kitchen out. It's not going to wiggle around on you. What a lot of campers tend to have are these two little metal or plastic hold uh, backs right here, little latches that you latch in place. They can break if the kids hit them wrong. These are as close to foolproof as they can get. Little neat things here. We do have a nice little outside storage pocket, and this is perfect for like your bug spray and your sunscreen and whatnot. Uh, power outlets out here for any device you can imagine. We do get hot and cold water in this area. Once again, this just stows away as easily as can be. And uh, we do have a little fridge outside to keep all of our cold drinks on hand. They're also switching out from the uh, cheap plastic latch system to something I've actually seen a lot in horse trailers. So they, this is the type of latch they expect to hold up when a horse kicks a door. It's going to keep your uh, outside kitchen door held in place, no problem. It is a little grimy on the outside, as you have well, no doubt noticed. We have snow today here in southern Michigan. And um, the uh, you know going down the road campers get a little dirty so before you take this thing home i'm sure we can get it hosed off for you that's just not a big deal this is neat this is a little outside tv hookup um your all your plugins and stuff go down here with a uh, coax input but uh, this bracket is heavy duty it does not come off that wall um the uh, there's a little easy uh, latch on the back here and you see how easily it can come off but you just simply put it on and now she's locked in place. That's all there is to it. You want to take a TV inside or outside, this is a great little camper. Also a good way to get the kids outside, um, you know, and, a, and away from uh, just sitting indoors all the time. And again, it is worth mentioning that we do have double the warranty here. You know, the question is how are they doing that? Well, they're, they use vacuum lamination instead of pinch rolling. At a glance, they look the same. It's the longevity of the product that matters. It takes a bigger, fancy press to do this. It results in a better bond that holds up and lasts longer. Um, you know, they don't use like a lot of press board or um, chip board or anything like that in these. When you see wood, you tend to see plywood in a Jayco. Stuff like that makes a difference, you know. And consider the fact that um, a camper without a two-year warranty means you're buying a camper that literally has a longer warranty on the refrigerator than the entire thing. That doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense at all. You know what? We'll come back to the front. This is a Murphy bed model. Um, and uh, it's it's kind of... I always like to end with that. I don't know why. Just a personal preference. So looking at this little camper, what I see different here compared to a lot of other little campers because I truly believe there are a lot of really good campers out there. So what is it that makes this one stand apart? First of all, 
we don't have just a single little sink. We've got a nice big sink here. You can actually wash stuff in. We also have a uh, dedicated counter space. We actually have a place for like a drying rack for your dishes when you're done or a place to set out food and whatnot. Um, we've got good pots and pans type storage, good big stuff storage like cereal boxes down here. And a lot of these little campers have no drawers whatsoever. This one has just the one, but at least you have a drawer. You have a place to keep your silverware and whatnot tucked away. Um, some of these little campers I've noticed are actually starting to get to the point because they're trying to chase a price tag that they're not even including like microwaves and that seems really short-sighted to me. This uh, has a five cubic foot refrigerator uh, with an internal freezer. You do have a freezer pocket up in here so when it is popsicle o'clock you can put that in there. Um, uh, we've also upgraded this one. This is another thing I, I forgot to mention sooner. I'm sorry about that. The trailer we're looking at in this video is not necessarily the trailer that we have in stock. Um, the, uh, this is footage I tend to reuse through an entire model year. So if uh, you, you like everything you see in this trailer, but you don't like that fabric print, or you don't need the big AC, give us a call. We probably have others in stock. Um, this is your TV area up here above the refrigerator. The camera's auto-focusing on me a little wonky. By the way, 100% LED lighting in here as well. That's a nice little touch. Um, are, all of our overhead doors are strutted so that they hold themselves up, and they are metal strutted, not plastic, so that they don't get cold and break, as typically is the case. You know, this is a neat thing here too. Um, your power awning switches next to mom and dad's bed. If you leave that awning out overnight and then a wind storm blows in you weren't expecting, you don't even got to get dressed. You don't even necessarily got to get out of bed. You just mosey your way to the end of the bed, close the awning, go back to bed. That's it. Deal with it in the morning. Um, like any dinette, this one can fold down into a sleeper, and I love, love, love this big window over here. All your shades in this Jayco, by the way, and all your Jaycos are nicer pleated nightshades instead of metal blinds. And notice that all your windows open for ventilation. A um, little power outlet down there, too, to keep device. That's, that's, that power outlet down there is perfect, like if you want to run a little tablet or something, keep her charged and running. Little campers typically don't have storage, generally at all. This one does not suffer from that defect here. Um, this is also adjustable shelving, so if you want to turn this from a pantry into a closet or vice versa, you can, and it even continues down here. So you've got a floor-to-ceiling closet, and this is walkable height inside. I'm under the air conditioner, which is the lowest point in the RV. I'm 6'3 with my shoes on. No problems. None whatsoever. Um, we've got Jayco's double-double bunks, and these are Denver, Denver mattresses. What that means to you. These are 50% thicker, and they have a nicer skin on them. So they're warmer, they're more comfortable, and they're going to hold up better and last longer. And it's little detail stuff like this. We got a handle we can hold on to when the kids are climbing to the upper bunk. Each bed also has its own little charge station, so that uh, each kid can have their personal little device uh, right on hand. It's also nice, like, if the kids are still riled up when it's marshmallows and Mountain Dew time, it gives them some time up here to just sort of chill out and relax. And you also have windows that ventilate on both the, the top and bottom bunks. And that's something not every camper has. Neat little thing I found down here, I call it the treasure chest. There's a nice little storage pocket down here. I call it the treasure chest because I'm a dork. So, how are you liking this camper, matey? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am a dork. Um, we have a split bath here. What that means is the sink and the medicine cabinet are outside of the toilet and shower enclosure. And a lot of people, when they first started doing this, were like, eh, that's different from what I expect. That's kind of weird. I don't know what to think about it. But here's why it's advantageous in a bunkhouse. You can have one of the kids in here, you know, taking a shower, using the potty, whatever. You can have another one out here brushing their teeth and you can actually get them to bed. You don't have to wait for one and then the other and then the other's waiting for the other and he's up and I'm not. You don't have to deal with any of that. And I did want to point out here, uh, we have a dedicated skylight and power vent um, as opposed to uh, just the skylight, um, as is typically the case in this industry. Moving forward, we've kind of covered most everything except the, uh, the, the, the pinnacle focal point of this model is the Murphy bed. Um, I'm a very, very big fan of these, especially these little campers, due to the fact that you get a 29-foot trailer in a 23-foot package. Because if this had a sofa with another bed behind it, you would have to extend this RV pretty significantly to make that happen. But with a Murphy bed, during the day, you you don't usually need mom and dad's bed. You're just in this living space. However, when it is nighttime, you want that bed, it's just this easy. Remember, I've only got the one hand. So you simply fold down the sofa, pull down the bed. Oh, I locked it in place. See, they work. The locks work. 
it's good to know and even with me screwing up i bet that was less than 10 seconds now i've got a full front queen walk around bed and this is still the same denver pillow top mattress you get across almost all of jaco you're still th this is the nicest mattress in, in small campers period in in narrow body campers there's nobody else that uses this nice of a mattress it is not cheap that's the kind of stuff I mean though. A lot of the areas where Jayco spends money is under the skin. You can't see the difference, but that's why they offer twice the the liability. They're willing to put twice their money on the line with a double length warranty as compared to anybody else. And now you have two campers in one with something that's just this easy to convert back and forth. There are little um, gas struts in here to make that simple. And even with just one hand, I'm still able to set up uh, the Murphy bed all the way up and down that easily. There are power outlets on both sides of the bed up here, so if you need your CPAP machines, if you just want to charge your phone, everybody gets to win in this little camper. This is 10 pounds of sugar in a 5 pound sack. It is dynamite. Give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Apologies for the terrible pirate impression. I'm not fluent in pirate, you have to bear with me. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.